A high school guidance counselor in Madison County is waiting tonight to find out if she still has a job after talking about the district's plan to support students who are questioning their gender identity. Our reporter Emily Longnecker went to Pendleton today to learn more. Emily. We tried to get the school district's side of the story, but they have not returned our calls. What we do know is that longtime high school guidance counselor Kathy McCord has been on administrative leave since last month. What we don't know from the district's perspective is why. McCord's suspension came weeks after she spoke in December to an online publication connected to a conservative think tank about the district's gender support plan for students questioning their gender identity. Under the plan, students can choose whether a teacher can tell their parents that the student is asking to go by a different name or pronoun than the one matching their gender at birth. A spokesperson for Kathy McCord said the longtime guidance counselor thinks parents should be told. This mom, who had McCord as a high school guidance counselor, agrees. And how am I going to know if my child needs extra counseling, extra help outside of school if no one makes me aware? Anna Blake put this sign in her front yard to support her former guidance counselor. I think she was put in a hard position. I think she um, I think she was struggling between doing her job and then doing what as she a parent would want to do. I know what the ethics and values that Kathy carries. Ted Vitor grew up with McCord. And there is none better and to be attacked like this and possibly even lose her job. It's just completely wrong. Issues surrounding students' gender identity and their parents' right to know are currently front and center in the Indiana General Assembly. The House just passed House Bill 1608, which is now headed to the Senate. If it becomes the law, teachers would be required to tell parents if their child has asked to go by a pronoun or name at school that's different from their legal name and gender assigned at birth. Opponents of the proposed law say it would out transgender kids to parents who may not be supportive. Again, we reached out to the district for comment on this story. They did not return our calls. We know from a spokesperson for Kathy McCord that she has a private meeting with the school board on March 7th. If they do plan to fire her, they would have to vote to do that in a public meeting. In Pendleton, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.